Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to part 3 of Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Let's start the program. Yay! Alright, now as you may recall, I was trading my Pokemon to try to take on my rival. So, today, we are going to keep doing that. No matter what it is, I'm gonna fight it. Get the animation sequence. Go hit! See how many experience points it needs. Okay, I think we can do that. <coughs> Ratata. No, oh, that wasn't good enough. Doesn't matter though, I'll take whatever help I can get. Alright, see? It just whipped right through that in like one second. I'll adjust the volume a little bit. My neat little volume bar right there that just went down. This is how I do my battles, I just whip right through them. Usually. Hello, Nurse Joy. Please, heal my Pokemon. Punk ass. God, I always hate it when I'm just walking along and I'm playing the game, you know, and somebody walks out in front of me like, I'm gonna fucking kill you! It's just too bad you can't actually do that. Well. I might get back then if I'm blocking their path. Alright, well. Let's do it. Yeah, there, see, see, you know, I'm glad that we have that fast forward button, which is for most of us the space bar, because it's, it saves us a lot of time. But you gotta be careful how you, how you use it, because you may get yourself into a situation that you may not know how to get out of unless it's saved state. This is not one of those situations, thank god. And then again, um, that may not happen much. Alright, I think we're almost there. Well, hang on a second, I want to catch a Spiro. Now you see, it you don't want to abuse the fast forward button. Save the game and. I forgot, you, I forgot there's Spur out here, so I'm just gonna keep going until I catch one. Oh! Fuck you, Ratata. Fuck! Fuck you, Ratata! Oh shit, come on! Oh, 
bastard, come on. Uh, you're pissing me off now. Well, I guess it's better than being pissed on. Alright, here we go. Level 5 even. Huh, that's even better. Got you, motherfucker. Alright, Sparrow Tiny Bird. Hi, uh, one foot, weight, four pounds. Wow. Eats bugs and grass areas and has to fly with some short wings at high speed to stay airborne. A lot of effort on its part. My most clever nicknames that I've ever given to a Pokemon. In this case, Spiro. Let's whoop through it. Alright. Oh. Again, you don't want to abuse the fast forward button. Like I sometimes tend to do myself. Alright. Let's give it a shot here. Let's see if I can battle my rival. Fuck you, Ratata. Hey, hey, Steve, you're going to Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. Hmm. Oh, I guess you're right there. But you don't have to be a dick about it. I will let you through, by the way. Did Pokemon get any stronger? I sure did. Say not Pidgey. Snafu. Pokemon aren't ready, but I've already started. Sorry. Good, it turned out for the better. I was beginning to get embarrassed. Oh, you just lucked out. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Smell you later, dick. It was a pleasure kicking your ass. Can't wait to do it again. Not only dreaded, but fucking annoying. You, you, I mean, you have to keep listening to that throughout the whole battle unless you, unless you switch out your Pokemon. Otherwise, it's da -da 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 and it's really annoying. Like I said, like, well, whatever, who cares? Oh, we're fighting fit. Okay, so that's done. Um, hmm. Go buy some more Pokeballs. Oh, 
Hey, no, there's a glitch that I can't wait to try out, but that'll come out. That'll come in like a later video. Um, it's it's where you um, go around the um, the rocket in Cerulean who, who breaks into that person's home, those people's home, whatever, and, and you fight the rival. And I think it was well, who fucking knows? Who fucking cares? But it's it's a really interesting glitch, and I can't wait to try it out here. I'll describe it in greater detail you know, in a later video when I get to that point. Oh, let's go all the fucking way back. Bastard. Oh, oh, speaking of speaking of that old bastard, any of you may know the um the M glitch, you know, how you talk to the old man and, and he shows you how to catch a Pokemon and then you fly over to the Cinnabar. Oh, um, so it's Cinnabon. <laughs> and you keep going and whatever you have in your sixth slot gets duplicated like some hundred whatever times. This guy right here. I'm just gonna keep going. I think I'm almost out of time here, so I better make this quick. Fuck making quick. Let's talk to these people. That attempt may be small, but his fight is wicked. Did you get one? I sure did. Why are you going to Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. That's relatively easy to figure out. Oh, another glitch, another one of my favorite glitches that I want to talk about is is the glitch you use to you know catch to catch Mew, and, I, and I've used it to catch uh, some other Pokemon. The thing is, if you see a trainer right here or like right here to the left or to the bottom of the screen, right when you right when the trainer shows up, you can time the pause just right. Potion or, or antidote, rather, right there. Um, let's see here. Let's try to catch a Pokemon here. Got to catch a Pikachu, a Weedle, or a freaking Caterpie. Okay, Caterpie. Hard at all. <coughs> huh? Okay, cut one. Worm, worm, short feet, tip of the social pad, the name of the pad, uh, whatever. Someone's PC. <laughs> That's a little shady. It's being transferred to someone's PC. <laughs> it's steal my Pokemon. <laughs> oh shit, no. Anyway, that's probably about all the time we have. Um, again, thanks for tuning in for part three of the Let's Play series. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Something I forgot to say in the past two videos. Bye!